Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be checking out a really cool feature that was just released publicly with the latest version of FL Studio known as FL Studio 24. And this is how you could get auto-generated chord progressions. This is really cool, it's super helpful, especially if maybe you're a newer producer, you don't know how to write chords. You could use this to give yourself a nice easy head start. And we're gonna jump straight into it here. So with that being said, here's how to auto-generate chords in FL Studio 24. First off, we're going to load up whatever we want the chords to be on. So for me, it's going to be a piano. Get that going here. I'm going to throw it onto a mixer and just compress it a little bit. Just that way everything's nice and audible. So as you can see right here in the piano roll, we don't have any chords actually down. This is completely empty. And what you want to do is go to this arrow on the top left of the piano roll. Now the menu is not going to show up on this video, but I will put pictures of everything so that way you don't fall behind. But from that arrow, you want to go to Tools, and on the next one that comes up, the second option should say Generate Chord Progression. There's also a keyboard shortcut, which is Alt and P. But go ahead and press this, and it's going to open up a menu that looks like this, and you can see in the background the chords have actually generated already. Now you have quite a lot of different options here, but this is what it gave me by default. Nice simple chord progression, nothing wrong with it, every note is correct, you don't have to worry about anything being wrong like that, and it tells you information about the chord as well, which is really helpful. It tells you like what each of the chords are, but what's really cool is there's this slider towards the top that leans either towards conventional or adventurous. Now right here, this one was going a little bit towards conventional, and I'll show you a bit of what each of those do. So right now I'm dragging it all the way towards conventional. So this should give you a nice simple chord progression, nothing too daring about it. It'll sound like this. You can make something good with that. And now we're gonna drag it all the way to adventurous and hit generate. So we've gotten this now. So you start to get different types of chords like that. You get like suspended chords there on that second one. It just makes it a little bit more interesting. I always like doing it kind of a little bit towards the middle so that way it's nothing that's too kind of jumpy, but sounds nice. And every time you hit generate, you're going to get different chords. That one's really nice, and of course you can go ahead and change these, like for example, I'm just going to go ahead and accept that. I like this chord progression, but I think this is promising. And of course if you want to change the key, from here you're free to edit this however you want. You could add in your own notes, so like this. That's a great chord progression, and FL basically just gave it to you for free. Super easy and completely simple to use. Amazing feature now included in FL Studio 24, which as I say is out now, so you should definitely go ahead and update. Anyways, that wraps up this video. Just wanted to show you this amazing new feature. Be sure to check it out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Drop a like on this if it helped you out, and subscribe for more FL Studio content from me. But thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.